Section 3. Listed Authorities, British Sign Language Plans. Section 3 sets out listed authorities' responsibilities in relation to the preparation and publication of British Sign Language Plans, to be known as Authority Plans. Listed authorities are further referred to in Section 8 and Schedule 2 lists all of the authorities to which the Bill applies. Subsection 2 makes an exception for any authority that is not a listed authority at the commencement of a Scottish Parliamentary session. As a result, if a new body is created mid-session, it only becomes obliged to prepare an authority plan from the beginning of the following session. Subsection 3 sets out the information that is to be included in each authority plan. This requires the authority to set out measures to be taken by it in relation to the use of BSL, timescales for doing so, and where appropriate, how, when and to what extent any measures to be taken in terms of the most recently published such plan were taken. Paragraphs A to C. Subsection 3, paragraph D, enables the Scottish Ministers to specify by order any additional information to be included in authority plans. Subsection 9 states that any such order is subject to the negative procedure, i.e. is subject to an annulment by resolution of the Parliament. Subsection 4, paragraph A, obliges a listed authority in preparing an authority plan to try to achieve consistency between that plan and the most recently published national plan. In addition, there are also a number of other matters which an authority is to take into account in preparing a plan, these being set out at subsection 4, paragraph B. Subsections 5 and 6 specify the nature of the consultation that listed authorities are obliged to undertake in the production of their plans. The consultation requirement is similar to that for the national plan. Listed authorities must consult those likely to be directly affected or who have an interest in an authority plan and take account of any representations they receive in finalising the plan. They must in particular consult users of BSL and those who represent such users. Subsections 7 and 8 enable an authority to revise its plan at any time as long as in doing so it observes the same requirements, i.e. a set out at subsection 4, as it did when the plan was first prepared.